अरे अरे कर पूनम पूनम तानाजी तानाजी अरे माइक चालू कर पूनम हो सर हाँ आता चेक के शेरिंग हो हाँ आता मग हे कर शेरिंग स्टॉप कर आता हाँ नंतर कर मनस हाँ चेक के तानाजी चेक के शेरिंग स्टॉप कर नंतर मग ती जेव प्रेजेंट करते हे कर हो चले हाँ
अरे पुनम ती शेरिंग बंद कर मटल होती की तानाजी हो सर हा शेरिंग बंद कराए शेरिंग बंद करा अजून थांबलं नाही ते एक मिनिट अजून शेअरिंग थांबलं नाही ते सुरेश आवाज येतोय काय सुरेश सुरेश ते काय आवाज येत नाही येतोय चालू कर म्हणतात सुरेश प्रोफेसर महिंद आर यू लिस्निंग तुम्ही करूया का सुरू हा चालू करा म्हणतात आवाज येतो चालू करा म्हणतात टुडे वी आर असेंबल फॉर दी पी एच डी ओपन डिफेन्स वायवा ऑफ पुनम पवार हु हॅज बीन वर्कड फॉर हर डॉक्टर रिसर्च अंडर द गायडन्स ऑफ प्रोफेसर महादेव सपर एज टॉपिक इज कन्सर्न टॉपिक इज व्हेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इट इज रिलेटेड टू फूड सिक्युरिटी अँड न्यूट्रिशनल व्हॅल्यू विथ रेफरन्स टू दी सातारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट so far as uh, the plan of the wayva is concerned first of all supervisor of punam pawar professor mahadev will introduce and welcome all participants and experts for the wayva and later on the wayva will be conducted by me after that punam will present in 15 to 20 minutes a summary of the research which he has carried out Uh, later on the questions posed by another referee so far as assessment of thesis of punam is concerned it has been assessed by two experts one of them is uh, present with us uh, professor suresh mind from university bombay mumbai university and uh, professor st bagal kote was the another referee so far as assessment of punam thesis is concerned uh, if any questions have been posed by professor bagal kote will be posed to punam and she has to answer that Uh, participants will be permitted to ask questions and comments and if any queries are there uh, they can also <coughs> and all those to be responded by uh, punam uh, later on the external referee who is present for today's wayva uh, that is professor suresh main uh, from department of uh, uh, economics university of bombay mumbai uh, he will present his observations and if any clarifications questions are required to be answered by punam Uh, he can ask he can comment he can present his observations of the research which he has carried out uh, later on uh, professor mahadev will propose vote of thanks and uh, at the end of the wayva uh, there will be uh, announcement about the acceptance of uh, the performance of punam along with the thesis uh, which uh, she has been submitted to different experts and their reports uh, those who have been uh, they have been sent to university uh uh may i call upon professor mahadev to introduce and welcome for today's wayva over to you mahadev uh thank you uh, professor ps kamble sir uh on the occasion of open defense wayva boots of uh ms punam prakash pawa uh we have a on board my own friend and colleague 
professor p s kamle sir who is acting as a chairman of this today's open defense viva we are having a external referee from the mumbai school of economics university of mumbai professor suresh main this particular thesis was also evaluated by the another referee from the university of karnataka professor s t bagal koti he was also a iqac director for that particular university many faculties of the department of economics research student of the department of economics ladies and gentlemen on the occasion of this particular open defense viva on behalf of the department of economics on my behalf i welcome all of you and so far as punam prakash pawar is concerned she was a very genuine student in the department of economics she completed earlier her mphil dissertation under the guidance of me and subsequently the similar topic which has been in a little more scope has been converted into the phd title and her phd title is economic analysis of food security nutrition in satara district on this particular topic i think she has worked by considering the overall entire secondary data from the various sources and particularly for the primary data she has been conducted from a satara district of certain blocks now while analyzing this particular exercise the punam has taken into consideration various statistical tools etc and on this particular occasion i think professor p s kamble sir being a chairman of this particular open defense he will be conducting this particular viva in a smoothly manner uh, okay thank you professor all the participants uh, in the uh, uh, university on behalf of the department of economics all my faculty uh, yes. teaching non teaching in the department of economics again i extend a very warm welcome to one and all uh, yeah. now uh, punam you have to present in 15 to 20 minutes a summary of the yes. uh, thesis that you have submitted and after that discussion will take place punam over to you are you listening to me punam yes sir uh, yes sir go ahead go ahead you can share presentation now punam yes sir yes uh, i think there are double devices echo is coming punam Tanaj is with you. You could yes, coming. Uh, I think double devices you have connected. You have to close, shut down one device. Otherwise, you will be there. Punam. Huh. Yes, go ahead. Title of my research topic is economic analysis of food security and nutrition in Satara district. The present study has. comprised in six chapters first chapter is introduction and research methodology second is review of literature third is global scenario of food and nutrition security fourth is food and nutrition security in maharashtra fifth is data analysis and interpretation and sixth is research finding and suggestion and conclusion introduction food and nutrition security are the main indicators of a healthy secure and prosperous human life food that we eat in daily life contains nourishing substances called nutrition nutrients the major objective of this goal is to improve food access to all and mal malnutrition which childhood stunting and wasting and improve agricultural sustainability india contributed nearly 25% in food production 27% in consumption and 14% importers of pulses in the world however india is facing malnutrition among children india has the highest number of stunted and wasted children with 46.6 million and 25.5 million respectively in the world and nearly a third and half of all stunting and wasting ch children worldwide during 2018 statement of the research problem food sec security become a reality only at the household level in fact at the level of each member of the household the growing population requires su sufficient and nutrient food the statistical data of national family health survey for 
2015-16 shows that in the Satara district, 23.3% of ch children under age 5 year were stunted, 23.5% was wasted and 27.8% was underweighted. However, 30.5% of women, 24.7% of men were thin and 19.3% of women, 28.6% of men were overweighted or obese. The nutritional status of children and adults in Satar district was very low in Western Maharashtra due to poor food consumption, less food availability, overpopulation, weak income source and absence of knowledge. Therefore, there is a need to study the extent and magnitude of the problem of food security and nutrition level in the Satara district. Objectives of my research study is to analyze the food and nutrition security in India and Maharashtra. Second is to study the socio-economic status of selected household in the study area. Third is to measure the expenses on the food of selected household in the sample area. Fourth is to construct the food security indices of selected household in the Satara district. And last one is to measure the nutritional level of children and adults in the sample area. Hypothesis of the study is Null hypothesis, null hypothesis is there is no significant increase in per capita net availability of food grain in India. And alternative hypothesis is there is significant increase in per capita net availability of food grain, food grains in India. And second, null hypothesis is there is no difference between nutrition level of men and women in Satara district. And Alternative hypothesis is there is difference between nutrition level of men and women in Satara district. Research methodology and database. Selection of the study area. Satara district of Maharashtra state is purposely selected for the present study. Selection of the block. Satara district consists 11 blocks, namely Karad, Patan, Satara, Wai, Khandala, Man, Khatao, Koregao, Fulton, and Zawri. This block divided in into hilly region, fertile region, and urban region. Based on geographical situation, out of total blocks, the researcher has purposely selected two blocks of each geographical region. Mahabaleshwar and Satara block for the hilly region, Patan and Karad block for the fertile region, and Ghatao and Man block from the Dratpun region were purposely selected for the present study. Sample design of the study that is 53,735 as per the 2011 census. Out of total household, the researcher has selected 140 households for, from each region. Through convenient sampling method, the households in each block were selected in proportion to the total household number of the region. Total 420 households were selected for the present study. Data collection, primary data. Primary data is collected from field survey, which includes personal visit with the household and their family members personal observation, interviews, and properly filled structured questionnaires were administered for the study purpose. Secondary data. Secondary data is collected for reports of food and agricultural organization, global nutritional report, global hunger reports, national family health Harasta, annual reports of Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, Census India reports, and Satara District Socioeconomic Review reports. Period of the research study, the st status of food security and nutrition level of Satara uh, select selected household 
in the study area were analyzed on the basis of the primary data for the year 2020. The secondary data relating to various indicators of food security and nutrition were collected from the respective institutions and departments for the period from 2000 to 2001 to 2018-19. Statistical tools used for data analysis. The data were interpreted with the help of various statistical tools such as average, percentage, standard deviation, coefficient of variation, compound growth rate. Limitations of the study. There is time and area limitation of testing applicability of food security and nutrition level. First, it is applicable only for the selected sample area of the SATA registry. And second limitation is the time limitation of the study is 2020. Research gap. Research on food and nutrition security has been done by various scholars in different parts of the world and India. The country report of Millennium Development Goals noted that despite India's significant progress during Millennium, Millennium Development Goal era, more sustained efforts are required to ex accelerate achievement particularly related to food and nutrition security. Overall, research literature indicate that India has been progressing on several social security outcome, but the state of food and nutrition security at local level still require more work. The in indices of food and nutrition security at local household level in not, is not co covered by the researcher. The present research analyzes the current scenario of food and nutrition security of selected household in the study area of SATA realistic. Also, study calculate the food and nutrition, nutrition indices, analyze total spend of selected household now. on food and Adieu. measure the nutritional level of children and adults. This study has attempted to analyze the dimensions of food and nutrition security with the help of location specific planning and resource allocation. Therefore, study helpful to achieve sustainable development goal of hunger and malnutrition free society. Prevalence of undernourishment in the world. This figure shows that despite the share of undernourished people in the world decreased from 14.8% in 2000 to 10.8% in 2018. It means that one in every nine people in the world still insufficient food for conducting an active and healthy life the majority of them belongs to developing countries the prevalence of undernourishment appears to have been growing for two years in 2016 and 2017 global nutritional status of children global globally the prevalence of stunting less than five years was declined from 32.5% and 21.3% between 2000 and 2019. Madhu? 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 Global prevalence. Ha, Global prevalence of global prevalence of obesity in adults. Globally, the prevalence of obesity in adults were increased from 8.7% to 13.1% between 2000 and 2016. The prevalence of obesity was higher in women with 15.1% than men, 11.1% 11 
in 2016 our prevalence of obesity rate has sp spread rapidly among larger parts of population in the world prevalence of undernourishment in india Tab this table shows that despite the share of undernourished people in india decreased from 18.2% in 2001 to 14.5% in 2018 it means that one in every seven people india still insufficient food for con conducting an active and healthy life nutritional status of children in india this table shows indicate that this table indicate that decrease in stunting has been from 48% to 38.4% similarly prevalence of underweight was re reduced by 0.68 percent point points from 2005 to 2006 to 2015 to 2016 national family health survey for has estimated 38.4 percent of children under age 5 year as stunted which signify pro chronic undernourished undernutrition the decreasing trend found in prevalence of stunting from 48.0% in 2005 6 38.4% in 2015 16 New nutritional status of adults in india the percentage of teen men decrease decreases with age whereas the proportion of overweight or obese men increases in india since 2005 6 the proportion of teen women aged 15 to 49 declined from 35.6% in 2005 6 to 22.9% in 2015 16 at the same time the proportion of overweight or obese women increased from 12.6% to 20.7% per capita net availability of food grain in india per capita net availability of food grain was 165.9 kg per annum and 454.4 g per day in india during 2000 this availability and in increase from the previ previous number of 180.3 ha yeto ka was disconnect ra kilogram per annum and ठीक 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 494.1 g per day in 2018 that the data of per capita net availability of cereals was ha continue continue kona was reported Aan, at chala kamle sir ha 154.3 kg and 422.7 g day in 2000 and it was increased up to 160 g annum and 438.2 g per day in 2018 profile of the sample households it found that the number of hindu religion households are more than other religion hindu religion represent as 95.24% and the muslim religion represent as 4.76% it means out of 420 respondents 400 respondents belong to the hindu religion and 20 respondents are muslim religion characteristics of sample households
मार्केट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम हाउस होल्ड इन सातारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट दिस टेबल शोज रिवील्स द मार्केट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम सैंपल हाउस होल्ड इन सातारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट देर आर फोर्टी फोर पॉइंट जीरो फाइव परसेंट हाउस होल्ड आर लेस दैन वन किलोमीटर डिस्टन्स फॉर मार्केट ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट फिफ्टी सेवन परसेंट हाउस होल्ड आर वन टू टू किलोमीटर्स डिस्टन्स डिस्टन्स थर्टीन पॉइंट फिफ्टी सेवन परसेंट हाउस होल्ड आर टू टू फाइव किलोमीटर्स डिस्टन्स एंड थर्टीन पॉइंट एटी वन परसेंट हाउस होल्ड आर मोर दैन फाइव किलोमीटर डिस्टन्स ऑफ मार्केट फ्रॉम देअर होम मार्केट एक्सेस टू सैम्पल हाउस होल्ड इन सातारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन द स्टडी एरिया ऑफ सातारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट टेन परसेंट हाउस होल्ड हैव रेग्युलर एक्सेस ऑफ मार्केट ट्वेंटी परसेंट हाउस होल्ड हैव अल्टरनेटिव डे एक्सेस एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट नाइनटीन परसेंट हाउस होल्ड हैव वीकली एक्सेस ऑफ मार्केट फॉर परचेस फूड फूड एक्सपेंसेस ऑफ हाउस होल्ड इन सातारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट द फूड एक्सपेंस एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन सीरियल प्रोडक्ट इज टू हंड्रेड सेवेंटी वन पल्सेस इज फोर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्सटी सेवन रूट एंड ट्यूबर्स इज फोर्टी एट वेजिटेबल्स इज सिक्सटी वन फ्रूट्स इज मिल्क एंड डेरी प्रोडक्ट इज सेवन हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट थर्टी फोर मीट फिश एंड एग्ज इज थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी टू पॉइंट सिक्सटी सेवन ऑइल इज वन हंड्रेड थर्टी स्वीट स्वीट एटी पॉइंट सिक्सटी सेवन कंडीमेंट इज थर्टी फोर पॉइंट सिक्सटी सेवन एंड प्रोसेस्ड फूड प्रोडक्ट इज फोर्टी वन Food consumption score of household. Food consumption score is used to measure caloric intake and diet quality at household level. The food consumption score of Satara district is 82.33, which is come under acceptable com- consumption score category. Food food consumption score is high in fertile region with 88, followed by hilly region. 82 and fertile region 77 household dietary diversity diversity city scale household dietary diversity scale is a proxy measure for households food access dietary diversity diversity signifies the number of different foods or food groups consumed over a given reference period there are 94.29 households have good level dietary over the last 24 hours of survey rest 5.71% households have medium level dietary diversity which is high in dotpun region and low in fertile region reduced coping strategy index is used for major consumption behavior of household livelihoods are harmfully affected by a natural or man made crisis households may adopt various strategies which are not adopted in a normal day to day life in study area reduce coping strategy index value of satara district is 2 which indicate that coping strategy is good secure reduce the coping strategy index value is high in dotpun region and low in fertile region it means that the coping strategy is good in fertile re- oh, sorry fertile oh. than other region most of households are using really on less preferred and less expensive food coping strategy during abnormal by day life household hunger scale household hunger scale capture the most extreme 
manifestation of insufficiency there are nobody household suffer from food crisis all selected household in satar district have little to no hunger scale the food grain production public distribution system availability of markets purchasing power and coping strategies are positively affected on food security in sample area of satar district during the study period 2020 nutritional status of respondents in satara district out of 400 children of respondents family 113 children are underweighted and 254 children are healthy or normal weighted punam 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 yes sir in the before us some of the important conclusions and suggestions in 5 to 10 yes, minutes you have to wind up you have to finish okay sir go to some major conclusions and suggestions so that in 5 to 10 minutes it will be finished okay sir the prevalence of teen among women is higher than men in study area i found that more than 50% of sample households punam, nutritional punam, level punam, yes, two, two devices you have connected therefore echo is coming you have to you have to shut down one yes hello ah uh, suresh visible suresh visible ah. you are visible suresh ha ye to aawaz yato hai chalu de go ahead punam yes sir you go is coming two devices connected at a time yes sir hypothesis testing null hypothesis there uh, there is no significant increase in per capita net availability of food grain in india and alternative hypothesis hypothesis is there is significant increase in per capita continue puna continue you should not stop go ahead puna there is significant increase in per capita net availability of food grain in india hypothesis probability value is less than the 0.05% significance level at 18 degree of freedom as well as that t calculated value is more than t table value therefore null hypothesis there is no significant increase in per capita net availability of food grain in india has rejected an alternative hypothesis there is a significant increase in per capita net availability of food grain in india has accepted and second hypothesis there is no difference between nutritional level of men and women in satara district an alternative hypothesis is there is difference between nutrition level of men and women in satara district there are 52.18% of men and 58.99% of women nutritional level is normal it clear that the nutritional level of women is better than men in the study area of satara district therefore null hypothesis there is no difference between nutrition level of men and women in satara district has rejected an alternative hypothesis there is difference between nutrition level of men and women is in satara district has accepted major research findings <laughs> major research findings it is observed that in all the regions of satara district milk and dairy products and non veg food items mostly high and common in households during study period in addition pack processed food product more consume in heli region and in dotpun region all selected household in satara district have little to no hunger scale the food food grains production 
public distribution system, availability of markets, purchasing power, and coping strategy are positively affected on food security in sample area of Satara district during study period 2020. Food availability, access, stability, and utilization is high level, but food haven't nutrient the current farm farming method provide food to all but not sufficient nutrient level food is available in household at optimum level but its distribution is not equal among family members in addition food is unavailable and insufficient quantities to every member of the family suggestions the current food production system is based on convenient artificial in inputs method it is necessary to apply or organic or residue free farming technique for produce high nutrient food Aware awareness about food and nutrition is necessary for a balanced diet and was precautions against dishes it it's necessary to de develop educational programs for increased public dis awareness about food security and nutrition Me medical extension services should reach the door for every household in rural and urban area instituting programs of social security which involve income and welfare support to those who are unable to trans transact in the market promote personal and family hygiene environmental awareness sanitation safe drinking water food safety and basic health services scope of further research the study of organic farming food security and nutrition level and economic analysis of consumption pattern of food security and nutrition the study of role of digital media and food and nutrition security to study role of government policies in food security and nutrition to measurement of food security index of household level. Conclusion. Concluding remarks are major indicators of sustainable development goal. This goal will be achieved when we are able to provide food security and every household and individual in present situation. Major challenges challenge is not improve the pro productivity of agriculture security but also making food food grains accessible to poor and needy they there are need to increase in irrigation facilities supply affordable agriculture inputs uninterrupted supply of electricity high yielding seeds per capita availability of food grains, fair prices of agriculture commodities, enhanced efficient monitoring system, optimum warehouses for food storages, efficient public distribution system, control of control on man-made inflections and reduction of regional disparities in food grain in addition there is a need for such member of studies in different views and areas because it has the vast scope and very significant from the measurement of livelihoods point of view okay punam uh, you can stop sharing uh, yes uh, thank you uh, you presented you, as a summary of your research is concerned.
now uh, further proceeding further uh, may i call upon uh, participants and researchers to ask any questions comments uh, before inviting professor suresh suresh are you listening to me yes sir very well uh, okay so any questions comments from participants researchers are there teachers are also there uh, her research is made open for discussion uh, punam stop sharing punam stop sharing presentation tana ji stop stop sharing any any anybody wants to ask any question uh, research scholars are there teachers are there students are there anybody wants to ask question on what uh, punam presented today anybody wants to ask you can you can unmute your mic and you can ask uh, i think uh, satish you want to ask any 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 students any teachers college teachers so uh, i think they will think uh, some of the questions those have been posed by the external referee i will i will pose uh, before punam punam are you listening to me punam yes sir yes sir uh, the question that has been posed by the another external referee that is uh, so far as uh, review of literature is concerned are yes. your objective justify review of literature that is his question the the gap that I, that you have identified it has been no. incorporated in the objectives how you justify that's his question no sir no 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 question is very simple punam question is very simple how the gap you have identified have been incorporated in the objectives how you justify that's very simple question understanding punam punam yes, are you listening to me yes, so uh, yes sir ha uh, respond how review of literature has been incorporated in your objectives of study that is simple question yes sir ha uh, answer i yes go ahead go ahead punam continue go ahead i complete sir no 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 question question is how review of literature have been incorporated in your objectives of study how you how you explain or how you justify understanding punam means punam uh, ama adubal uh, yes, sir is asking ki how you related that literature with your objective in the simple manner uh, understanding punam uh, म्हणजे तू कोणत्या याचा बेस घेतलाय ना रिव्ह्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर मध्ये तर तो तुझ्या ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह मध्ये कसा झालेला आहे तो जरा इट इज रिफ्लेक्टेड हाऊ इट इज रिफ्लेक्टेड इन ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह पुन्हा हा हा पुन्हा हो सर हा यू हॅव टू रिस्पॉन्ड कोणत्या ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह मध्ये तुला कोणत्या लिटरेचर मधला चांगला जो आहे रिव्ह्यू घेतला समजलं सर हा गो अहेड गो अहेड न्यूट्रिशन स्टेटस आहे ना सर चाइल्ड आणि ओके अडल्टचा त्याच्याशी रिलेटेड आहे काय ओके ओके वन मोर वन मोर क्वेश्चन आय विल पोज इट हॅज बीन आस्कड बाय दॅट रेफरी यू हॅव यूज्ड नॉन रँडम सॅम्पल सो कॅन यू जनरलाइज युअर फाइंडिंग्स टू एंटायर पॉप्युलेशन ऑर एंटायर युनिवर्स punam another yes. question is yes sir you have used non probability or non random sampling can we generalize our observations or findings to the entire universe or population yes sir punam i yes, have to answer while answering i take it seriously it is not objective yes and no पॉप्युलेशन नो सर वाय वाय नो 
it is applicable only for 120 yes, response uh, you have to speak no you are now absolutely right any any participant who wants to ask any question before inviting professor suresh any any participants i think uh, she has presented so it it seems there might not be problem over to you, suresh you present her observations if you, you want to ask any questions and comments and queries you can pose uh, she will answer otherwise you okay. present your observations about what punam has presented before us Hold okay you, suresh Hold yeah yeah yes yeah, sir thank you uh, the chairperson of this viva am i audible sir properly yes. Clearly okay. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, and my friend uh, Deshmukh sir, and uh, uh, today is the presenter of Vahiva Punam. Uh, I feel this is the subject to which you selected for the study, which is a very, very significant. And I gone through the, your work uh, about the uh, that objectives and justifications about that, uh, what you made about the that uh, your uh, hypothesis. Uh, I, I, while the that uh, reading of your thesis, I have observed that the subject to which you concentrate or your research work where you investigated, which was mostly uh, concentrated on the Satara and the six blocks, six blocks of the Satara districts and uh, 420 respondent. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Uh, I, I feel that the when uh, the researcher is going to investigate the field work, which uh, has the different status or a good status, I feel because you are generating the new data for the uh, for the research, and uh, you just use that the stratified random system uh, with your that uh, uh, I think uh, pilot studies or whatever references have, have you, you did you used, and uh, you put it some observations which I would like to just uh, clarify it from you uh, that uh, two, three small things. It's like that uh, you just mentioned about that uh, for the food supply, continued food supply, there is required to promote the, that uh, in the river recommendation that, uh, you know, organic farming. Uh, but my concern is that, that uh, I think the suppose farmers will follow that the organic farmings or natural farmings, then it will be pushed in the, the scarcity of the correct. foods. So there is the that contradiction I feel. I but but what I, I am expecting from you, ki how you will be justified that if suppose people will be uh, go with the natural or that uh, farming, which you suggested the organic farming. Okay, that is the one thing which I would like to clear from you. Uh, another small, Curie about again, you said that uh, in the recommendation, there is the reforms is required in the PDS system. Right now, which uh, we seen at the country level, at the government level, they are uh, trying to push their the different systems like the right now, I think biometric system, which is uh, our phase ID system, which is going to uh, adopt for the food uh, that uh, PDS system or public uh, distributions uh, that system so beyond that what you are expecting under that suggestion that is my second uh, that i think uh, uh, small <laughs> query so once you will be respond for this two then i would like to just conclude uh, and uh, then further will be comment uh, for your uh, work so will you just uh, clear these two things about your suggestion punam 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 yes sir uh, you have to answer what Professor Suresh is talking about. Huh? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, organic farming have more uh, yes. nutritional level in food than other farming. Okay, okay, sir. fine, fine. But uh, one one worried thing, as I say, he, when the farmers will uh, use it at the large scale, still we don't have the development like that, the fertilizers or other things. So my worry about that, ki there will be the, uh, you know, uh, less supply or uh, less production. This is the, my, uh, this point of view. Okay. Uh, and another, what you would like to respond for the other, the PDS system reforms. In we previous system, huh. yes, sir. Uh, distribution system, uh, a public uh. distribution system, some households say, sell their uh, grain to organic uh, other 
another people. Okay. Uh, but in the reforms, what you exactly would like to recommend to the suggest to the policymakers or to the government? Do you have any suggestions about public distribution? Punam, what he is asking? Punam. Hello. To, uh -huh. any, any reforms you want to suggest? What Professor Suresh is asking about? You are suggesting that the reforms like that biometric and that then for the larger scale? Government supply. Uh, government is doing the supply from the buffer stocks that are not issue okay anyway i would like to just now conclude uh, my re remark regarding the overall work uh, and i would like to just congratulate to you for your uh, presentation and whatever that uh, objectives you have you decided for the your work i feel that you had uh, that uh, justified with the appropriate methodology and that already i mentioned in my report so for the your uh, work uh, with the title of Economic Analysis of Food Security and Nutrition in the Satara District, I would just recommend to the uh, Shivaji University and uh, that uh, chairman will be the announce about the further things. But uh, as a referee, external referee, uh, I, I, I think that I feel that you have tackled the, your viva uh, as per the, the whatever uh, things and that clarification has been given for the uh, your uh, further research work. So with this, I would like to just recommend to the Shivaji University. Uh, there should be Allah award the PhD degree to the Punam Gaikwar. And now I think further proceeding will be done by the uh, our uh, chairman of this Vaiva. So uh, just behalf of Mumbai School of Economics, I'm very much thankful to the University of uh, Shivaji, Shivaji University, Kolapur, as well as the, my friend, uh, Dr. Professor Kamli sir, Deshmukh sir, uh, for this, uh, I think, uh, uh, novel cause. You invited me. So this is my pleasure and thank you to all the participants. Thank for you. the new researcher, Please. for the new new researcher, only one thing I would like to share. Okay, the economic, economics is the very technical subject. And uh, fortunately, I think the uh, Department of Economics of the Shivaji University is the very rich. It has the good uh, professors like Professor Kamala Sir, Deshmukh Sir, and uh, other uh, Sir, all the uh, teaching staff so uh, the research i would like to just appeal to all the researcher please communicate with your professors while the uh, your research and for the work and take the inputs properly for your for the direction of the work so thank you sir and with this i am stopping here okay thank so, you professor suresh for your presentation uh, of uh, observations as well as asking of some of the questions and queries those have been answered by punam uh, before uh, moving towards the uh, uh, vote of thanks by Professor Mahadev. One of the questions has been posed by the participant, Punam, for you. What are the problems of public distribution system? That is one of the uh, questions which has been posed by one of the participants, one of the scholar. Punam? Yes, sir. Punam, uh, what, what are the problems of public distribution system that you have identified or you have analyzed? Punam, are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Huh. What are the problems of public distribution system? Already you have studied that. Yes. So what problems have analyzed what you identified? Comparing, comparing food. Punam? Are you comparing food and nutrition? Yes, sir. Food. Government supply. Uh... Sunil, Sunil, please uh, mute your mute. mic. Sunil from, from Pune. Mute your mic, Sunil, Dr. Sunil. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, go sir. ahead, Punam. Punam, go ahead. Government supply food only BP, uh, below poverty uh, level, uh, level households. BPL level, which is the first public reception system for uh, food production. Okay, fine. It is the problem. Okay, okay. Uh, so far as uh, today's YYA is concerned, uh, Professor uh, Mahadev, introduce and welcome. Uh, then uh, uh, questions posed by another referee, those that have uh, asked to Punam, she presented well. Uh, Professor Suresh she presented observation. And it's now, it's now time uh, to make announcement.
so far as uh, the performance of punam is concerned the thesis of uh, punam power has been uh, examined by three referees two are present with us uh, the referee who is not present today for uh, the yiwa is professor st bagalkoti from the department of studies in economics uh, karnataka university darwad uh, professor suresh from uh, mumbai university is present and professor mahadev who is uh, my colleague and internal referee for punam all have submitted positive reports uh, recommending that the thesis submitted by punam should be accepted for phd degree in economics under the faculty of uh, humanities uh, so far as uh, her performance in yiwa is concerned she tried level best to present an abstract or summary of the thesis which she submitted to the university and some of the questions uh, posed by the external referee who was not present were also asked to punam some of the participants question also were reached to punam and she tried level best in addition to that professor suresh also asked some of the questions and comments and queries those were also satisfactorily responded by punam taking into account in totality the performance of punam uh, of the thesis uh, which examined by the three referees and uh, their reports and her performance in open defense viva uh, we as a committee for open defense viva Uh, recommend to the shivaji university authorities and officials to accept thesis of punam for phd degree in economics under the faculty of uh, humanities uh, uh, let us congratulate punam uh, we can congratulate yes, punam for successful thank you uh, sir uh, defense of the viva and completion of the viva uh, let us congratulate punam uh, now over to you mahadev to propose vote of thanks and after that we will close viva Over to you, uh, Mahadev. I would like to also congratulate to the Punam and also to the Professor Deshmukh sir. Yes, both of to you, the, both of you, Punam as well as Mahadev, hearty congrats. Yeah. Over to you, Mahadev. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, it's indeed a great pleasure to propose a vote of thanks on the occasion of this Open Defence Viva Vos. We have on the board my one senior colleague, Professor P S Kamle, who has acted as a chairman of this particular Open Defence Viva. who is my old friend who is always in touch with me from the mumbai school of economics professor mai suresh mind all the faculties of department students ladies and gentlemen in fact this particular viva which was, was must be planned before the february but there was some problem with the punam the punam is having a small baby that's why it has been little postponed but no doubt the punam has worked very hard she was a genuine student in the department of economics continuously she has worked on the topic economic analysis of food security and nutrition in sakara district and whatever the methodology or the variables is required to be put up in this particular analysis he has been done it and for this particular open defense viva my one senior colleague professor p s kamle who has been acted as the chairman of this particular open defense and very smoothly nicely presented and by motivating to the presenter to go for the open defense on behalf of myself as well as the department of economics i place my sincere thanks to professor p s kamle my own friend from the department of economics mumbai school of economics university of mumbai professor mayan has agreed to remain present for this open defense viva not only for this open defense viva but the report which has been submitted by the university to assess and evaluate and submit the report for this particular thing he has been done a double role by assessing this thesis as well as remaining present for this and he is always a kind enough to give his own cooperation and extend always support to the department of economics so on behalf of me as well as the department of economics of shivaji university i extend a sincere thanks to professor mayan my suresh so my another referee who is from the karnataka university department of economics professor st bagalkoti he is also our own colleague for various committees as well as the activities he always remains in touch with the department of economics and he has also submitted a positive report with respect to this particular topic on behalf of the department and myself i also place a sincere thanks to professor st bagalkoti on this particular board today most of the research students who have been joined for this particular viva vos as well as the many faculties not only from the kolhapur as well as from the pune as well as across the kolhapur so i for them also i place a sincere thanks for remaining present and asking certain questions and making this particular open defense by why is a live viva so i i place a sincere thanks for all these participants who have been joined today and last but not the least those who have been contributed for this particular exercise maybe for example uh, satish or tanaji or many other students who has been join for this for the viva so i last but not the least i thanks to all of them for this for this and once again for the 
Suresh Main, though he was a little busy in this particular exercise, and he is at, today in at a Baramati also, there was some yeah. problem. But somehow he has managed to get the network connectivity and he has been successfully conducted this particular viva as a referee. So once again, on behalf of the department, Mr. Suresh Main, we place a sense of thanks to you, you. And I request Professor P.S. Kamle sir to take the charge of this particular board to you. Thank you. Thank you, Vanna.